Hi there, uh, welcome to Wallpoint Figures. My name's Stuart, and tonight we're going to talk bull. Wow, bull rushes. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Wallpoint Figures, I'm Stuart and we're here to provide you with some great simple solutions to really improve your figures, your armies, miniatures, miniature bases and terrain. Now tonight I'm going to talk about bull rushes. Um, if you're not in the UK and possibly some bits of America, I'm not sure there, you can correct me. These are long reeds with a big, it's about that long I'd say. Um, dark brown sort of seed head on them and they look great they can really help set off uh, like an individual figure base or diorama or, or pimp up a bit of terrain especially around marshy and water features it's a simple technique so hang in there it's a short video and at the end I'll give you a little killer tip that will really make them stand out a mile hope you enjoy remember to hit that subscribe button So let's crack on, take some fine basing sand and some long reeds, I've used the ones from our shop, and a bit of blue tack, that's a really important bit of equipment here. I've got some super, some paper rather as well, because I'm going to use that for the glue, and I'm using super glue, I'm using the thick gel stuff, I find that much better, as you see it costs me 79p from a cheap store. So we're going to grab out some of the reeds from there, and you get a load in a packet. And we're going to look for the right sort that's going to fit for the purpose we want. This one looks about ideal. We're going to take the scissors and cut it down to the sort of length we want to use. Blob some little bit of super glue out on the paper. You can lose liquid super glue, but you're going to have to be a lot more careful and may have to do this bit in stages. So pop the reed into the super glue, you're trying to get an even coat around it well as even as you can and just dip it in the fine basing sand obviously I've got a big tub of the stuff um, you get the shape on the bulrush and just stick it in a blue tack stops it sticking to the table then as I have found out uh, <laughs> of course you'd never catch me doing something like that um, so keep going it's a fairly quick process it's a little fiddly at times uh, sometimes you may have to very carefully just shape the bulrush like that on the top of the reed but you can get through a fair few in quite a short period obviously this is a bit speeded up but I didn't want to really bore you too much with me dipping things in glue and here's some more I made earlier as you can see they're really easy to do and already they're looking that right sort of shape so the next stage is to be out of focus <laughs> well to paint so we're just taking some basic matte black here a little bit and it paints on really easily over the sand no need for any undercoat or anything like that and we're going to whiz through these very quickly you don't want to paint any further down than the bottom of the actual seed head obviously now the seed heads aren't black although they kind of look it from a distance the seed heads themselves are actually dark brown when you get close. So what we're going to do next, after we've finished all this black, is we're going to take it up to that brown colour. So I'm going to use some Vallejo model colour mahogany brown. And we're going to sort of, it's a wet dry brush, if you like. And that will just catch the texture of the sound on the seed heads. And that'll leave us sort of that dark shadow as well. Now, next thing, we are actually going to lighten those stems to make them more like bulrush leaves. So, we're going to take some brown sand from the Vallejo model colour range. Obviously, that's the one I use, my, my base flesh. And just paint down about three quarters of the way, because the bottom quarter is darker, you will see, because that's where it sort of soaks up water. 
we're going to take a foundry base sand and apologies for making those fly by so quickly but any sand or ochre will do to just lighten the stem now it doesn't have to be light all over it can be mottled you will find reeds when they've been by water a while have this sort of mottled effect on them so there they are that's how easy it is to do bulrushes really but now I'm going to give you the killer tip of how to do this properly. So you take some PVA or wood glue, you can use it neat and just dab it on randomly. Or sort of the bottom half of the top of the bulrush because they tend to seed from the top down. And then pop it in some snow flock. I knew I had a use for it somewhere, all that snow block I did buy, and you can see how effective it looks. Hi, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's a really simple technique, uh, a little bit fiddly if you've got big hands like me. Um, but if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Uh, we're going to be posting new videos on a regular basis now. Uh, so that will make sure you're informed about them. If you've got any comments, pop them below. No problem at all. If you want to contact me personally, that's great. And if you want to support the channel, then pop over to our shop at wallpaintfigures.com where we provide a variety of quality basing products, grass stuffs, as well as the Collector's Club and classic and rare miniatures if that's your thing, if you're an old hammer freak a bit like me.